Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1 through 7.1.1 on any supported iOS device. And just to show you this here, uh, we'll go into the settings app, go to general and about, and you can see here that we are running iOS 7.1.1 here on an iPhone 5S and we are going to go through the jailbreak process here. So uh, what you want to do first actually is go to this website pengu.io and apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong but this is the site right here I'll leave the link down below for you and here you'll find a couple of different links you'll have Mac OS and Windows now Mac OS does not actually work right now so keep that in mind that is not available at the time of creating this video but it may be available in the future so keep a lookout for that but if you click it nothing will actually happen so what you want to do is download the Windows version if you're using a Windows computer. Unfortunately, that's the only way to do that right now. Um, but you can go ahead and download that, click on the link, and save the file. It's pengu underscore v 1.0.exe, and it's about 79 and a half megabytes. So don't be alarmed by the size or anything like that. It's completely legit, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use it here. So let's go ahead and click cancel since I already have this on my desktop. And as you can see here, we have the Pengu version 1.0 application on the desktop here and you want to go ahead and launch it. You can see that my iOS device is recognized iPhone 6 comma 1 on iOS 7.1.1 and if we go ahead and click this questionable button right here it will give us a prompt to change some settings on our iOS device. Well first off we want to uncheck this box right here and this is going to make sure that no additional third-party software is installed on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch uh, during this process. I know that sounds a bit shady, but that is what you have to do here. So just make sure you uncheck that because you don't want anything additional installed aside from Cydia, of course. So once we've done that, you can go ahead and click on this jailbreak button here and it will actually prompt us to go into the settings app and change the time and date. So like I said, you want to go into your settings app here and we want to go to general and then we want to go to date and time. And once you're in here, you want to turn off set automatically. And basically this needs the date to be set to June 2nd. Once you have it set to June 2nd, the process will automatically begin. If it does not, you're just going to need to uh, go ahead and relaunch the Pengu application. So after the process gets about halfway through, as you can see right here, it's kind of stopped. If we scroll over, you'll notice that we have this Pengu app here on our iOS device. So you want to go ahead and open that up. Just go ahead and launch that application. And it's going to prompt you to make sure that you would like to open this application. So you just want to go ahead and click on that button over there. And then we can go ahead and continue on with the process. So it says to keep the device connected and do not close the app. So you want to make sure that you follow those directions exactly. And it's probably better off that you don't touch your device during this process. So you'll notice the progress bar will speed along throughout this process. Just let it do its thing and continue waiting, being patient, and eventually the jailbreak tool will finish up and your device will reboot. All right, so you see here that we have the device actually rebooting right now. Um, so it's going to go ahead and reboot for us. And there's not very many indicators on the jailbreak tool that it's actually working or, or anything aside from that progress bar. But just stay patient and don't worry, everything will be just fine. But just let the jailbreak tool continue doing its work and as you can see right here it will again reboot the device. So once you see that the progress bar is actually not moving anymore um, that's how you know that the tool has completed and then you'll see some uh, little logos here and a boot screen for the jailbreak team on your iOS device. So I went ahead and got everything all loaded up. All you have to do is unlock the device, launch Cydia and allow it to prepare your file system and I just wanted to install a tweak real quick to show you guys that this does indeed work. I went ahead and installed Activator and set up an action that will allow me to take a screenshot with a double tap of the status bar. And everything works as advertised. There are no tricks here. This seems to be a legitimate jailbreak. I can't speak for the long-term reliability, but it does seem to be working at the moment and I am very grateful. So proceed with caution, obviously, as you would with anything else like this. But let me know what you think about this jailbreak down in the comments section below and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, 
Also, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day. Wow.